So I got this Waggy Turbo and we're back with another IFR Season 3 race highlight. But yeah, we got two race highlights this time. Oh, so the go. last two Sundays, I haven't really uploaded uh, the highlights for it. So here are the highlights for both the races together. And yeah, it's going to be quick highlights, by the way. So yeah, it's five red lights for the Silverstone Grand Prix. It was, you know, lights out and away we go. It was a pretty decent start by us. You know, we were just absolutely flying, almost taking two over here. Slight contact with Vihan over there for some reason. And I was trying to go down the inside of Steezy, but yeah, Steezy kind of closed the door there, had zero space and just touched the back of his car and spun out. And so did Starman. And he, so basically we are down to 16th now, had an amazing start, but this is what I always say. Till the time we don't have a good start and it will spin out or take damage, the game is pretty much done for. All I have to hope for now is to maybe, you know, get a safety car and try and come back. But the pace was there and as you can see, by the end of lap 1, we've already caught up to the guys in front and it's a proper kerfuffle, proper fight going on in front of us. We try and do a switch back on these guys, we get an amazing exit, but no. Shadow Sentry and... Shinkiro touch Dude, and because of that oh, he gets in our way hell. and we lose our yeah, front wing. Yeah. Our front wing is yellow now. I have no idea what Ishan is doing but yeah it's like we got an illegal overtake on him. Super weird so I had to let him back through and I was just confused. I was angry as well because I got caught in an incident which I could have done anything to. I tried to break over there but yeah he came right in our path and yeah, you can see what happened next. So, of course, Ooh, we go into the uh, pits to get a new wing, new tyres. I was really praying that we get a safety car anytime soon now because we really needed it. And in Britain, it normally rains as well, but this was a completely clear session, which was super weird. But, yeah, getting back to, you know, the pits now. We get into the pits, and as luck would have it, and I have no idea what the hell is wrong with EA, it was on auto repair wing. wing we had a well. yellow wing literally a yellow front wing and the game just decides not to change the front wing so there goes that you know the whole race we have to come back into the pits again because without the front wing the car was pretty much on you know not i was not able to drive the car at all especially through the corners like maggots and beckets so yeah we did come into the pits it was a super lonely race after that we were lapped down because of the, you know, pit over there, we did not get a single safety car. Bragged up six seconds worth of penalties and stuff. But yeah, at the end of the day, we just, you know, could get 13th. It was a very, very annoying race, very sad race. But yeah, we finished the whole race in 13th. I was almost going to go for the fastest lap. We, I think, lost it by around three tenths or something. So yeah, it was sad days, but can't really help it. Well, we actually missed it by around six sec uh, six sets, or even three. <laughs> With Sadi actually getting the win, Vihan second, redefined third. Sadi getting an amazing lead in the whole championship as well. But now we are back to Saudi, the latest you know race that we have had. And again, I just want to say, our starts in these races have been crazy. But yeah, fire red lights, and as you can see, we have an amazing start. We have almost side by side and overtaking Steezy already. And we're literally side by side with Caliber. But then we have a slight tap from the back, uh, which makes us go a little wide and even hit Saman slightly. It was obviously just a slight tap. So thankfully, no wing damage. But Vihan over there losing his front wing. Completely losing his front wing. I think he's had an uh, incident in front. No clue you know what happened there but yeah Steezy is going extremely slow through this section of the track and as we know this is the only place where you know we can't really overtake uh, even sector 2 and 3 are perfectly fine for overtaking you got pretty long straights I did try to use a bit of ERS here and there to try and maybe you know overtake Steezy but then yes he replied back with a ERS dump of his own so couldn't really capitalize on that but we're still we're sixth already so we have gained like what I think two positions which is not too bad. So, yeah, we did overtake Caliber and our stars have been amazing. It's like just the launch that we get is just been, you know, on point. But yeah, so here's where, you know, the whole race kind of unraveled and, you know, became a bit weird. So basically what happened was, as you can see in front, 
uh, we have a safety car and that's because the greedy retired and that actually happened because our host actually desynced or actually disconnected from the server and then came back on so what this did was there was a lot of desync issues for a lot of people and when we had this uh, safety car uh, what the host you know beaver and mute what they decided was they're gonna restart this whole race with only 10 laps and yeah we'll just see you know what happens and stuff so as you can see this is a new lobby Again, we are in fifth right now because Ishan obviously goes in front. It's like they took the uh, timings of the start before SC. So yeah, basically the positions before SC. But yeah, again, an amazing start already passing Calibre. And we are going side by side with the guy in third who is Extreme. I know that Extreme is extremely quick. So we try and keep it around the outside and we manage to do that. We are on softs here. The guys in front are on mediums. It's obviously... Uh, tire choice is completely free. We can take whatever tires we want. So I went with soft thinking even if let's say we have an incident It's fine because then you know, we'll be able to go into uh, onto mediums or hards and just go to the end We won't have to make an extra stop or you know something like that but Yeah, we had a very good start yet again us, you know, I've been working on the starts and Pretty decent starts, you know if I should say to myself but yeah, redefined having a slight movement over here. I was thinking of taking, you know, maybe making an overtake, but then I realized that there's no point going into this turn. I can just wait for the straight right here, dumping a little bit of ERS, and we can just, you know, make a move in the next straight. But then, for some reason, uh, my control obviously was bugging out here as well, and my ERS just stopped working. So <laughs> that was super weird. But yeah, we make it. A slight mistake over here just go wide which lets extreme you know come back and that's when I realized okay the ERS you know I have to press the button twice for it to work because there was some weird glitch going on in the controller but yeah I am saving a bit of ERS here going side by side with extreme I'm giving him as much space as possible you know respectable driving over here dump the ERS I know that I have around 70% ERS and extreme has been dumping quite a bit to just you know maybe stick with me or even catch up to me so dumping a lot of it, going side by side to turn one, he goes slightly deep, we give him space and there goes extreme. We have a slight bit of contact over here which was kind of scary because we could have literally been in the wall and this whole restart would have just, you know, gone down the drain. We were literally fifth, uh, I'm pretty sure, when we had the whole uh, restart and stuff and right now we are fourth. So we have lit literally overtaken caliber till now and that's pretty much it. So again, amazing start uh, and yeah towards the end of lap 5 though it's our pit lap and caliber was overtaken by i love controller who's right behind us he was challenging us as well making a slight mistake here though uh, you know going to turn one we went slightly wide but it's fine you know uh, we still have like six tenths over him i was trying to push over here and slightly touch the curb and that messes the whole momentum up and we are sent into a spin all the hard work and the kind of advantage that I had is completely just gone. I didn't really expect to, you know, lose it, but the tires were just not in the right temperature and just a slight bit of, you know, uh, imbalance in through that particular section at least just threw me off. But yeah, coming to lap 11 now, we are right behind Ritesh and yeah, we have done our uh, pit stop. So this is for position now. He has a 3 second penalty, so I was thinking to myself that even if, let's say, uh, I don't mess up over here, like, you know, let's say I don't overtake him, I'll be fine. I'll be getting 7th at least. But yeah, as a driver, I was like, you know what? Why just settle for 8th on track? Let's get 7th on track and let's see how it goes. We are very low on ARS because I dumped quite a bit to just catch up to Ritesh. I had slightly more pace than him. So he did break early to get DRS on the next straight. So I was like, you know what, let's try and use this just like Charles Leclerc did and just try and build a gap. And as you can see, we have already done it. So 4% DRS now though, he can see the flash, uh, no, light flashing and he does go for a dive down the inside. I knew he's not going to make the corner. He goes out, comes back in pretty dangerously, which was super weird because I was like, you know what, he did go wide. I should get a little more of space maybe. So I do squeeze him quite a bit over here. He comes back at us, hits us, you know, side by side and out of nowhere. I did talk to Ritesh after this, you know, no hard feelings, but 
yeah when we were racing i was fuming i was like why me we already had a very you know weirdish uh, second start we were literally fifth in the safety car and i was pretty happy because i knew that i can get fourth over here and solidify it because the guys who were actually pretty quick were pretty far back and caliber was in front of me who has similar pace to me so i was like you know what we can have a proper battle with caliber with the help of drs i might have you know just overtaken him but there goes our race which is super unfortunate super sad but sometimes this is what happens you know even though uh, we've had a pretty awful race this whole time we don't have a wing either now we are still ninth which is kind of okay because ritesh has a 6 second penalty he does dnf and yeah we finish the race in eighth we even had a proper you know saudi arabia themed helmet which i think only i made you know a different kind of helmet for <laughs> a different kind of track but yeah very unfortunately the last two races have you know just completely changed the standings as well extreme has been doing very well to get those podiums and the points so he might have actually overtaken us in the standings as well we'll you know look into that real soon but yeah ishan winning his first race but sadly did not race in this particular you know track so ishan will catch up to sadi who has been leading the championship as you can see is on 132 points ishan even though he's very quick had a lot of net issues and whatnot and he's only second right now vihan third we were literally equal points with him in i think the last video that i've made but as you can see two races one where i didn't get points at all and the second one yeah in saudi we kind of messed up our potential p4 i would say because yeah if we didn't spin out there we could have had some very decent points at least like you know 10 or 12 points but instead i have to settle for just a mere four points but at least it's points so i guess we'll take it next up we got redefine and starman who have been doing pretty decent as well starman and i are on the exact same amount of points starman did win the, i think the first or second race i'm not sure which one but then after that he has been you know pretty inconsistent here and there i've seen him having you know going into ai as well quite a bit so yeah he's at 53 extreme in just five races is up to 50, you know, 52 points which is just a one point away from us and i'm pretty sure he's gonna overtake us uh very soon because his pace has been amazing and yeah honestly right now i'm just looking at maybe getting fifth or sixth from literally like fourth and fifth you've gone down to like you know maybe even sixth or seventh at this point but yeah we'll give it our best shot to try and to get as many points as possible and let's take a quick look at the constructors uh, championship as well and as you can see we have fallen all the way down to sixth so yeah can't really help it uh just having you know two bad races one where we both didn't score points me and degree did not score points and in saudi obviously degree had a movement uh, went into the wall unfortunately but yeah we are f just 54 points and we're still in front of aston just because degree got one point so you know the contribution is there but yeah it's like we have literally lost the whole constructors championship like completely there's no way we you know get close and wdc also is not looking too great for us for even the top three to be honest but yeah we still have three races left i might have to miss one of those we'll have to see uh exactly how it goes but yeah i will update you guys and you know make a highlight on what exactly happened but yeah hopefully we can at least in constructors get to like fourth because that would be pretty decent but yeah two very very bad races pretty unfortunate but we'll put our head down and try and get more points but that's it for now i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys in the next one peace